going to do an instructional video on this at some point, but as sort of a rehearsal. So this is how I'm doing lunch these days uh, when I do a cold cut sandwich for lunch, which sometimes I actually heat up. It depends on the day. It's been very hot recently, so cold is good at lunch. So this is ham and turkey with Vermont cheddar in the middle. And that's the middle of the sandwich, right? So that's its own entity. And I can make, um, I'd say up to like five or six of these at a time and put them in the fridge and then have lunch for the entire work week. So that's one side. The other side is the bread, which doesn't have to be in a throwaway bag. I try to reuse these bags. I'll mark it for bread there, right? So I know that it was only bread in there and not anything like meat that you wouldn't want to reuse a bag for. And then I take this and then have in the fridge at work mustard and mayonnaise and sometimes like a sun-dried tomato spread or an artichoke spread, whatever I can get my hands on. A lot of times that depends on how close I am to a Trader Joe's because they have a lot of that good uh, type of spread there. Uh, I've got a grocery store here in Newburgh called Adams Ferry Acre Market that also has good spreads. I just haven't explored them yet. And uh, this with a nice piece or two of crispy, crispy romaine makes for a killer diller sandwich. You could add some hot pepper rings or even slices of hot peppers if you can find them in the jars to that. And you have a very quick and easy gourmet sandwich for days in a row at work. Not a bad idea, I think. Comments?